All right, I uh, wanted to make a video about my truck. I've had, on some of the F-150 pages, I've had some people asking. I don't have an Instagram, I have a Facebook, Snapchat, that's, that's really about it. I don't do a whole lot of social media, but asking, just wanted me to post a video, just kind of giving a rundown of what's done in my truck so far and, and, and what's about to happen with it. Um, my truck is a, it's a 2019, F-150, it's got a, the 2.7 EcoBoost in it, 10-speed transmission. Uh, it was the STX package, so it came with 355 gears, um, you know, color matched, all that kind of stuff. Uh, since I've gotten it, um, I'll start, you know, front to back. Um, I've, I've actually built this truck and put it back to stock several times because I've I had you know, a, a, tur a, a Tahoe that I was going to do a little turbo build on. I had a heads and cam Camaro that I was building. So I, I, I'll stop, you know, I stopped building this thing and then put it back to stock, sell all my parts and then, you know, build something else, sell it. And then I'll just turn around and build this thing again. So I just, you know, wasted money constantly on it. But, um, first thing I did was suspension, the truck currently, and I'll, I'll show, I'll show the truck whenever I get done with the, with a boring part of, of speaking. But first thing I did was suspension. Um, I started out with just the bell tech. I think it's the 1001 SP or something like that. The, just the bell tech drop struts or something. And then it had the, the, uh, flip kit and everything like that. Truck rode horrible. So I ended up, um, took the front bell tech struts off and I ran Viking coilovers with a bell tech, um drop spindle in the front so right now i'm sitting at about five and a half inch drop in the front um just because of you know the mixture of the coilovers and and uh the spindles the rear end is at currently it's about a six inch drop i will be going lower after i notch it uh, i'll be dropping it to about a, about eight in the rear um but the rear end is it's just a you know your 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 six inch flip kit or whatever i've got cow track track bars um or calvert racing cow track track bars and um viking double adjustable uh shocks and a hell wig sway bar um i wouldn't recommend running the the cow tracks because they're meant for a truck with a flip kit but i feel like they're meant for a truck with a five inch flip kit because i actually have to shorten my bars on mine a little bit to keep them because I have no I've, I've lost all my adjustability out of my, my track bar so I run around daily driving with preload and I can't I can't pull the preload out of it because my bars are too long so I actually have to adjust those um after the and then I've I've went through about five different sets of wheels so far the ones that have stuck so far they're a set of Venom Rex VR uh 602 20 by 9 um they're a uh, uh, carbon graphite metallic. I uh, went with those because the with the the drop spindle you can't run anything with a stepped lip or anything smaller than a 17 inch wheel in the front. A lot of these aftermarket wheels for these F-150s are a stepped lip, like the Cosmos Racing, the Einkeys, and um, the new Weld wheels that are coming out. And there's a few others. So these didn't have a stepped lip, so I, was, I stuck with these, and they're actually fairly light. Um, I think they're like 28, 27, 28 pounds a piece. Um, I run a, a 275, uh, 40 tire on them. Um, and not, not, not the best, you know, diameter tire for a turbo vehicle. It actually, it took a little bit of the load off of turbos, um, as far as getting started, you know, leaving the line. But, you know, it, it, I didn't want to, I, I like a little bit of wheel gap. I don't like, you know, no wheel gap whatsoever. Um, so from there, um, I, I've got a CV fabrication Titan intercooler, which I'll be changing. I'll be getting rid of that and go into the full race intercooler. The full race intercooler moves your blow off to the charge pipe, which is, you know, after the, the, the intercooler. So it'll help with all the moisture and condensation buildup inside the aftercooler, I mean, inside the intercooler that these trucks, you know, are known to have. Um, I run the Turbo Smart 
um, supersonic blow off valve, not the not the electric electronic blow off valve. I actually have you know it's a manual uh, referenced blow off valve. Um, I did that just because it, it 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 the adapter gives you an extra port for some kind of boost for boost reference, whether it's you know for a boost gauge or, or whatever you want to tie in there. Um, and then from there, I have the engine um, intake, which is the you know the dual the, it has the two filters, the two tubes, stuff like that. Um, I have the AMS turbo inlets, which um, I had to modify those to fit. And if if there's any interest in how I had to modify them, then I'll go in more in depth on that, or maybe make a video on what I had to do to modify those. Um, I have SPD. Um, down pipes are just a three inch cat of down pipes, nothing special. Um, and then I have a AWE uh, resonated cat back exhaust with the single side exit. Uh, probably the best sounding exhaust I've I've found for an EcoBoost aside from, you know, deleting the resonator with the cat of down pipes and just stock muffler. Um, it's, a, it's on the loud side. It's not, it's a little louder than I want it but i mean it it's it does it doesn't sound bad at all honestly i've i've actually had people you know say that they like the way it sounds and you know eco booster they're not very well known for sounding good um i am tuned on e85 by chris chris clark at pro tuning um so far on the dyno we put down 443 wheel horsepower 528 foot pounds of torque that was on like a 70, 80 degree day and it was hot inside that shop. So probably might, you know, might probably was making more than that um, in reality. Uh, and I'm trying to think of what else I've got done to it aside from that. Um, it's basically just a, just a bolt on, you know, tune bolt on truck with suspension. I've got a set of uh, Hoosier slicks that I run on it and just bias plies. Um, for the future, I've got a set of custom built pure turbos sitting at home. I'm wait, currently waiting on the part, the 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 gaskets and everything from Tasca. That's been taking forever. Um, and I've got um, the supporting mods needed for those turbos. Those turbos will be good for. They're good for 650 wheel horsepower, if not more. I'm not going to push this truck that far. Um, it, there's just really not much of a need to. Um, you know, maybe once to see what those turbos will do. But other than that, just really, there's just no, no need to do that. Um, I'll be, in, I'll be putting those turbos on here soon. I'll be changing out the injectors, um, on the, on the, the port side is, you know, the direct port injectors are plenty big enough, um, for, for what I'll be doing. The, the high pressure fuel pumps plenty big enough. So gonna change out the port side fuel injectors and I'll be doing, a couple mods that nobody's done on an EcoBoost yet, and I'm gonna I, for the for the meantime I'm gonna keep those kind of to myself. Um, as, as stupid as that may sound, you know, me even mentioning it, I just I want to I, before I, I mention them and then somebody else tries to do it, I want to make sure they're gonna work, um, you know, and, and and not not hurt me more than it'll help me. Um, I'm all about trying new things and and. I try to do things that nobody else does or whatever. And sometimes there's a reason why nobody else does them. And sometimes nobody else does them because they're just either a scared to, or B, they just have no interest in it. So I, I like to at least figure out if things will work or not. Um, but once it's all said and done, I mean, I'll be going, I'll be going for the record, try to reset the record. Um, and hopefully reset it by, a pretty decent size margin um, should be. I'm hoping. I'm shooting for mid to low 11s, um, and if it comes, if I get close enough down to it, I'll I'll do what I got to do to get it down even further than that. 